I'm sorry, no I really feel bad. I should have thought of you about that. I'm gonna cry. I gotta make some wall space. Well, there's still some room right here for you on the box. My brother's gonna get up right there, dude. Alright. 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 <laughs> Just oh, come through, man. Uh, <laughs> <don't worry. laughs> no power. That's my knowledge. Yeah, Take fun with it. <laughs> <laughs>
They want 63. Got around. He's a conductor, matter of fact. Yeah, he's a conductor. <laughs> conductor on the train. Yeah. So I can imagine he, he probably hits for a little pen like this, yeah? And then it's crazy. I would. Yeah. He's face to his cousin, eh? I don't know. He's related to him. Really? I didn't know that. Taboo one. Nice guy. He got around from the Bronx. Stick two. <laughs> Oh, it says. And. A. You know what? Yeah, you know what? A. E. So that's me. Snake one. King of all snakes. They're the river beds. I would ask my hippie friends and all that, and everybody got tired of me. Nobody wanted to go out at night, so I take a six pack in my radio, go down to the river bed, smoke some couple of notes, have some beers, get stinko, man, and get my uh, get my spray can and hold my my bucket of paint. You know? And after I would read articles about the guys and stuff like that. You know? and I said, there's nobody over, over here in LA that really understands what I'm trying to do, you know, because it wasn't about the trouble writing, it was about the text, about the name, about the fun, you know how addicting it is, addicting, man, I'm still, you know, and it was so fun, so it'd be in the riverbed, and then it was the moon and the freeway going by and all that, which is, and then in the little water, it was very romantic. <laughs> It was like, you know, it was beautiful. You know? But you know, you said something like the, the uh, highway, right? Yeah. That noise, the trains, you know, yeah. which is basically, that's that's the sounds you had, the soundscape you had in right. California. Yeah. The soundscape we had with the trains. Right, 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 you know? right. So there's similarity, you know, similarities to it. So much, so much. It's like, they better for all of us. They're going to start be putting things together like they never had. You know, had, had you know, you know. And there's always a younger generation. You will always have tag. We'll always have, you know, all that bomb. Okay, Duke needs to find out where he is. Queens, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. This is a this is a pre 3D era right there. 3D. Tell me about the 3D. Pre 3D. 3D was something that um, I just came up with through class some archives I took. Uh, I studied some perspective. So one day I, I thought that maybe I could take it and, and do it on a train. Yeah. And when I tried doing it on a train, I didn't realize you know, the impact that it had on the whole movement. Everybody just got blown away by it. Yeah. And then what they did was they tried to, to emulate the whole thing. Yeah. People were trying to do their own style. They couldn't, they couldn't figure it out because I, I was, uh, not only was I doing a 3D, which was I, was I was slanting the pieces back and putting a drop on it. But I was also doing a background that that enhanced the 3D, but it was like right. it was like a four. Oh. But oh. well, you did that drop. That was uh, I did that in uh, 1973. Yeah, I was painting before that. I was painting like, like early 72. Yeah. These guys were, were out. But I didn't really start really getting really deep yeah. until like in early 73. Then I started dropping the bombs. Yeah. That's when, you know, yeah. that's when the shit started getting really. Yeah. The guys were going, I'm doing this piece, but no, man, that's, a, that's some thought provoking shit to this guy. Yeah. What's your piece say, man? It's in a, it's a monument to celebrate the Puerto Rican freedom fighters that are in U.S. jails today for the simple reason that they want their country, Puerto Rico, to be what it is, a different, independent, free country, and not a U.S. colony, which is what it is. It says, free all Puerto Rican political prisoners. So my name is going to be over the letters, over the black letters. But you'll still be able to see the black message in the back of my name. That's why my name is Yellow. How do you feel about this show? Oh, this show is a historic show because, uh, you know, 
California never met New York City in a gallery before. You know? I'm sure that we've always been together as artists, as writers, as human beings. Because the same the same things that motivated you guys to go out and start hitting are the same things that motivated us. Right, right. You know, that's his nature. Right. Yeah. So it's a historic show. <laughs> Absolutely. So you write Miko. Miko has Latin pride. Yeah. Miko has Latin pride. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. And when was your heyday? 1970 through 1975. I was active in the New York City public services, subways, buses, buildings, anything that moved, airplanes, whatever. I, I retired in 75, and by then I was already doing work on canvas so I could save my work because one of the reasons why I quit the public services because the city government started buffing off everything, you know. So it was a waste of your time, waste of your paint, you're risking your life. <laughs> so I said, fuck it. I just started doing it on canvas to this day. You know. But, uh, you know, it's just a matter of liking what you're doing, I guess, you know. This is my thing, you know, painting. That's right. And I'm going to paint for the rest of my life. Painters were respected. <laughs> Oh, Which is a weird way to put it. But writers did have some weird respect. And the only thing I can see is gang mentality was like, oh, I'm a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going in that neighborhood. You know why? They'll kill you over there. But this brother, he be walking all over the place. Yeah, he's a bad motherfucker, man. I saw your name down on 127th Street, man. What you doing down there? Well, I'm just tagging. Yeah, but I saw your name in Brooklyn. What you doing in there? Well, I'm just tagging. By yourself? What's the problem? Oh, man, you bad, man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got shit on my jacket, you know? <laughs> what problem I got walking right, around? Right I see flicks from Europe, and they got, like, black characters next to the thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. Now, who did that piece and what does it represent to them? Yeah, right. There's what they think graffiti is. That's why it's <laughs> important to find out if you're going to do it. It's important to find out who you are because it's about doing what is you. Part of the you are today. A lot different. The same you are. What's up? Hi. Seven. Spot. Spot. How you feeling? Spot. Ten. Seven. I'm Duke. This is Rip. So that must have been a nice time. No, no, the gang thing, I, I hated that. I hated that. No, I'm talking about the terror. And then you don't like this guy, because his jacket says something, and my jacket says something else. I don't like it. Yeah. They might be best friends with their different fucking jackets. Yeah. You know, they like, you know, I don't like you, man. Who the fuck are you? Yeah. It's like, you don't know who he is, but you're ready to kill him. Where when we met somebody, we saw a marker, it was different. You saw a knife, you reacted in a different way. You saw a marker, the first thing, like if I pull out a mark and there's another right horse in the room, the first thing they would do is roll up on you. And it wasn't be like a, oh shit, what the fuck is happening? It was like, yo, yeah. You get some good stuff. You know, you get some, like, yeah. I'm with you, man. Yeah. Can I hold your marker? You know, or else he'll pull out his and say, yo, and give him a tag. And you're like, oh, and instant, you know, let's go hit. Let's go first, let's go steal some paint. Then let's go hit. <laughs> you know. That's why everybody was waiting to talk about what styles, and that's all it is. You don't see no characters in my stuff. I don't, I'm not really framing the characters because that's not what it was about. When we started out, it was about lettering and how intricate the lettering could be. The characters came, and they, they, that's just the camouflage of guys that don't have style to me. That's how I see it. When you, when you do a character, people, all they're looking at is the character, but then they're not really looking at the letters. So when you go and you look at something, you're like, yeah. Me, I look at everything. First, I look at the lettering, then I look at the characters, because anybody could take a cartoon and put it into something, you know. But, to, you know, even if you make up your own character, your ideas came from somewhere, but your lettering, your ideas came from you. Right. 
you know, yeah. exactly from you. It didn't come from the, see, from us, we didn't have no role models. Yeah. You know, like he said, who, who was showing us how to do this on the train? We invented our own art style. Before everybody was even doing it, it was just started here. Yeah. We just started like doing yeah. our own style. <laughs> it wasn't about, oh man, I'm gonna do a character. The only reason I did a character because staff did a cannon, an old fashioned cannon with a, a stick figure lighting it yeah, and blowing yeah. out his name. So I was like, I so that's when Biden came in too. Right, right, right. right, right. Yeah. Cannon, I, get so right. I did a, a modern day cannon, yeah. blowing out my name right. with a guy lighting it with a torch, a right. character. And everybody's like, oh, Riff, he got the guy pointing the fingers and yeah. the magic blowing the can. Then it became, oh, you biting. Yeah. I just took an idea and took it to a different level. Right, 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 there right, was right. no such thing as biting because somewhere along the line, you seen somebody do something and you put it onto your piece. Right, right. Everybody took something from somewhere. They you watched and you you went out there and you you know you learned. <coughs> There's no such thing as biting because you have to start somewhere. Yeah, I think that's nobody could be better than nobody. To me, I don't consider myself better than nobody. I feel that sometimes I might torch somebody when we get on a car together, yeah. but it's not I'm better than. Them. It's just that my style is more intricate. My ideas are more, right. more out there. You right. know, yeah. I, you, I have more idealistic things about doing right. when I do something. Right. It's not about just my creativity just comes to play. If these guys is good, I'ma be good. Right. And that's what I told him. He was some oh you ain't doing no old school. I said, I'm keeping up with the times. If these guys could do something, I know I could do it right. even more so. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. And that's what it shows. This is all work from this year. You know, it don't it don't go from one phase like I'm coming back and I'm gonna do old school. No, when I come back I'm gonna do stuff that yeah. is up to date. Yeah. To show you that even though I didn't I wasn't picking up a pen doing it, right. I could still do it. Right. But the other, on the other hand, every other thing takes time. Holding a can is right. different now. Right. It's not like before. It took us like, sometimes it didn't even take us but like less than 20 minutes to 20 minutes to do a piece on the train. Right. It wasn't like we had all the day like a lot of guys now. They, they in the thing, yeah. stepping back, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we were sleep. Okay, yeah. Man, you heard that? Yeah, hold up, man. Wait for a minute. Yeah. Theater. Yeah, all right, come on. Yeah. And, you, and it was like, bam! You right, go see right. the next thing, you be like, and everybody's sitting on the corner, you look at it, you look at everybody's face, and you just, just watch, and everybody, it's all over. See, right in this corner, Humphrey and I, you had a platform upstairs, <coughs> downstairs, and everybody would come and sit together. I was always that yeah. lonely guy, I'd come in, I'd watch everything, see the faces first, and get the response, and that's that's how you work off yeah, of. Yeah, you look at you guys, and you be like, up. oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, Riff, man, who went with Riff last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did he do this? And then, you know, they'd be like, why did you come down? Yo, man, that was a nice piece. Yeah, but I, I you know, I'd much rather did something next to somebody right. to give you some more inspiration. Right, right. And that's what makes it even better. Because when you get next to a yeah, nice nice brother right. like Pell, Faze, yeah. yeah. and you just start, oh, that's my man, but right. I'm going to yeah. do my thing because yeah. I know he's going to do his thing. Yeah, that's that's right. just, I'm not trying right. to outdo him, but I want to be represented because if he get to yeah. do something, I'm got, I got to do something just as nice. That's how that works. And, right. you know, people made it they got more of a battle, battle, but we, it was friendly battles with us. It wasn't like, yeah, yeah. oh, fuck that nigga, I'm going to burn. Like now, they, yo, man, he, he talking shit, let me, let me go get my... For yeah, what? Yeah, this is competition. Yeah, competition yeah, is fun. Right, right. You know, that makes you even better. If you can't hang, then go home and keep working on it. Right. And that's all it is, is just to get better. Ready to roll, man? What was that again? No, I was just thinking of like on the end of his end. Rock like you know some fucking I don't know whatever man the drawing is whack but like little like wiggly almost like sperms coming into a smaller little canal and then drifting into my D you know just to connect his M into my D like yeah. the next letter or whatever it doesn't yeah. have to you know right, one right. out of many. Cool. You ready to do this, Eric? Seven foot
It is 8 in the evening. Just came from the gallery. And it's 13 degrees. 13 degrees. 13 degrees out there now, bro. 10 Celsius below. 13 degrees. And look at all these people out here in the freezer. In the freezer, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this is when I wrote other night. You know what I'm saying? Back to basics, advanced chess move that captures kingships. My lock on target, I mark the object. High beam lights that crest in suspects. Miss Dorsh rampage, a witness to dark days. Before man came, I dwelled in stone age. New life beginning, my soul's ascending. Like Enoch against cop blocks that call cops to lock down the block. Stereotypical, judge me before I make my first move. Scientific, in the lab, preventing poisonous gas. Global warming, 100 plus sunny wild dark and stormy. Math is dropped only based on facts. Math is 24 verse 3 is the text. Life is preserved when you observe the lessons. Simple mind edition. Material wishes plus lower class misses. More cream than riches. Earth's been replaced by drug prescription. Karma lifestyle, the dumb, deaf, and blind. Above all things, Satan dropped the dime. Hovering over him is the end of time. Peace and security is the final sign. But manifest truth is the fast for swan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Word up, son. The stacks. Respect. R I Z M. R I Z M. You know what I'm saying? R I Z M. Rizzle. You know what I'm saying? Universal yeah. 7. You know what I'm saying? Drop that science. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Universal mathematics. That's the other character I have. Yeah. Whoever drew that up there, that's dumb. Yeah. That's West crazy. That, that one on 169 is dumb too. 167 and Jerome Avenue. That's just down the block. Yeah. That piece is um is um ivory. This niggas murdered it, yo. It's a yeah. beautiful war. That's a Hall of Fame war right here. Yeah. Man, go. With the Boogaloo style. <laughs> yes, yeah. Shit is fresh. With the Boogaloo style. Over here you got coke. This man plays the link. He plays a big integral part in this this writing world. Hope bringing everybody together. In living color. In living color. It's a classic, baby. <laughs> FBA, FC, KD, TNB. It's a classic. It's a classic. Classic. Looking that style that only Reese could flip, man. That's that shit right there. You know. It's that type of shit that them suburban white boys be on the dick. Right here, it's that shit. <laughs> it's where it was born, right here. Whenever you see that shit uh, anywhere else around the world, refer back to this. Right here, this is it. You know what I'm saying? When we just passed up? <laughs> Banging twice on the wall. Here's another fucking old school king. Another classic Ooh. by John 1. John. John 1. And if you notice, it's not all spray paint. Yeah. He used tube paint, like acrylics, and and sprayed tube right onto the wall. Damn, man. Kings, also, kings on this wall. Just to sign their name and make friends. Right. 65 she was the only female in our group. Coco 144. Still around kicking. Are these, are these are hit ups that, that were done about what year in this book? Oh, 72. This is a book from 1972? Yeah, 72 <laughs> to 75. Whoa. This is, this is very old. And it was my pleasure to have you guys hit. Wow, I feel incredibly honored. Yeah, it is. Yeah, right. well, but he was from the... I did pieces on paper and guys like, oh, this guy. And when I ran into Knock again, he was introducing me to guys like A1 and them. Yo, this is Riff. 
he always, and it, you know, you get better with that. Yeah. And that's what that's makes right. it even more, because when they talk to you and let you know that this, they have that respect for you. And that's the only thing. It's not about I'm better than these guys. They look up. No, it's the respect that yo, this brother really is talented and he's not humble. It's not like oh, I don't, don't talk to me. I'd be like yo, they be like sign my book. Oh, I'll sign it later so I could put something in it because I never was one to do really throw ups. I always like to, to get into it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yo, I'm gonna give my book to Rip and let him do it because I know it's gonna come back right. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. what it was that's because really when you do something, another person, I don't care what he do. After he get it, he'll look and learn from it. Oh, let me let me try this and do this. I didn't call it biting. That's good. That's showing me I inspired this guy. Right. True. And true. I never got. They was like, he never get mad. Like true. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Face. Face. Hey, tell me about some of those 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 trains that, that you got up in there. What's up with your face, oh, man. man? These are old, dude. Tell me a story, man. He's got these dope flicks. Fan tool, TV on Delhi 167. Yeah. Uh, a couple of pieces I did back in the like, low 80s. It's me again catching a wreck on the back of the subway train. Yeah. Uh, like last month. Um, I'm retired now from New York. I was riding since 1976. Uh, just a few little memoirs that I have. Just to show calls that uh, are still in effect, still around. Right, right. That's been my motorbike days. Yeah. Uh, I'm just here to represent. That's it. Represent. A little photo art. Yeah. Right. Uh, Maybe graffiti's gonna be on the upswing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, you know, it's like this, this is interesting and, and progressive and radical. And it's, it's really nice. It's young. And oh, I think that's what's that's what's hip about it. Yeah, that's that's what the it's missing link is. It it's a generational. Man. Yeah, you need to build more links between the generations. Yeah, and I think, to so. be honest, I dig the concept of the West Coast East Coast thing. Yeah, I, think I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. I like a lot of misconceptions and rumors that get around and kind of divide people. Oh yeah, but uh, this is breaking that. Oh yeah, yeah. no question. You know, when you do it. Then we can build from music. Yeah. When you do it in art. Basically, it's the culture. You're trying to do that culture and get that culture together, and that builds the bridges. That's yeah. where it connects up. From. I'm from Oakland, California, and my man here is from San Francisco, California. We just here representing the Bay Area. I write Dream One. My man writes Five. Can you tell us about the piece that you have here on the wall. Well, basically, the piece that we got here is just. Um, it's basically yeah, yeah. deep rooted. We try to show the roots and where we come from as far as learning this art form. Like I said earlier, it's kind of like paying homage and coming to Mecca for, for a Muslim brother. You know, for us to come to you to out here to New York, it's, it's an honor. You know, a few feet away from me, I'm standing next to this man Delhi. I'm standing to this man Spank, and these are some brothers that have influenced me and made it possible for me to do my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I've been meeting brothers out here that are just like legendary in the graffiti game. We're gonna bring that right over, but because we're dealing with radio listeners, so why don't you give us a feel for the flow that's on here and the colors and what some of the things mean, knowing that you're gonna be describing this to folks who can't see it. Right, right. Well, what we got in front of me here is a piece that me and Spy worked on. Uh, um, what we're doing here is we're doing some uh, deep-rooted graffiti where it's like, well, deep-rooted writing where we flex letter styles. We try to keep it simple as possible so that it appeals to my writer brother, for all the brothers that do graffiti. You know, and at the same time, we dropped a little bit of political content, which we always do. Um, I've been writing since 1983, and I basically, as most writers doing the fame game, you know, getting up as much as possible, pushing you and only you. But once you get past that stage, I think it gets to a point where, depending on what type of individual you are and uh, the type of consciousness you're growing up around, then you owe it to, the, to, to, to your people, basically, to drop some type of consciousness. So everything we have here has something to do with uh, pushing the struggle. On the top there, we have a quote from Sister Asada Shakur. We couldn't save Malcolm, but we can save Mamiya. You know, down here in the lower left-hand corner, 
we got a character which is borrowed from a rap group in Oakland called The Coup. And it's a character of a sister, a silhouette of a sister holding a, holding a young baby in her arms. And at the same time, she's lugging the shotgun around. And it's a revolutionary sister. And on the side, we got it saying, um, raising warriors in this concrete jungle. You know what I'm saying? From the grassroots up. That's what we're about. And I just want to throw in that The Coup gets much respect out here. Oh, yeah? Yes, they do. Yeah, that's a good yes, thing to hear. My man Bruce yeah. would love to hear Yeah, that. Yeah, in fact, uh, at the Black Radical Congress, I had a chance to meet him in Chicago this summer. We kicked it a little bit. Right, right. Them is folks, and uh, they all about the struggle, just as we are. They taking over as far as the uh, the audio and making people understand through music. And we trying to handle the, um, you know, the vision. You know. Uh -huh. Now, right next to the sister, you have uh, a list of a platform and a set of demands. Can you tell us about that. Right. Well, we have the set of demands. Uh, which had to do with the Million Youth March out here, which uh, didn't get much publicity as far as the Bay Area in California. We didn't hear too much, you know what I mean? But through our underground people out here, we got to hear what was going on. So we listed all the demands uh, that the youth was asking for. You know, everything from police brutality, you know, to uh, freeing all our political prisoners. Uh, and since, since a lot of our news travels from ear to ear because of the fact that the media locked the whole march down because they didn't want to see a million youth the same way they had seen in D.C., so they blocked it. The mayor here attacked the march. You probably heard about that. Yes, yes. I have to be a legal observer during that march. We got knocked down twice myself. Right. Well, I want you to take the word back to California that the mayor and the city will most likely be sued because of the fact that they beat down people and kept them from coming to the march. So we want the word to come straight back right. through you yeah, and not right. through the media, which will twist it up some kind of that's way. That's right. Well, there are folks, man. Uh -huh. Hopefully that'll yeah. spark some some uh, resistance, you know what I'm saying, when they try I do it to us. This is going on right now. It's all good. It's all good. Representing the art form. Yeah. Watch my video. It's gonna be better. It's called Cope. Yeah. It's called Cope Two Kings and Storm. Yeah. Coming at you live. Right. 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 Cope Snatch. S N A T C H. C W K Trump J H F. Uh, M W Most Def. Um, Brooklyn Head Most Definitely. Yeah. Man C W K Crawford Kings. Had the, had the ill meaning, creating fresh, damn. criminals rocking a fresh train when other writers can't, so put it all together, you got Crawford. Right. That was a Brooklyn crew out on Bed-Stuy, East New York, Brownsville. Yeah. All them heads right there. Right. And we was like 80, something, like 83, about 86 was like our, was our peak, I would say. 86. Yeah. Cool. So, you know, Norman, Norman Jones, Norman Jones, the president started back in '83. Yeah. And, um, so they was like the main style masters, of, you know what happened. Yeah. Matter of fact, if you if you check your books, check on um, spray can art. Norman has a piece in that. Yeah, I, he has yeah, um, I see style. That. It's a style piece with some of his desk. Yeah. So you know, I'm trying to keep carrying that on and just just trying to keep going. Right, right. Passes. But trying to take a, you know trying to take advantage of it. I would call it I call it a revival. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Of New York, where people actually out there piecing, right. and trying to put the style down rather than just out bombing. Bombing's always been there. Yeah. Bombing's always going to be there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, who am I speaking with, man? My name is Wicked Gary, one of the original ex Vandals from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Representing in the house. Right on. What you think of the show? Yeah. Looks really nice, man. It's, yeah. It's, it's nice to see the collaboration with New York and Cali. Yeah. See all the, the young cats along with the old timers. You know, it's a nice vibe. Good, good atmosphere, good company, you know, crazy folks, but it's all good. A lot of love in the house, and peace to everybody, and we'll see you guys at the next one. Make sure, you know, we have another one. Yeah, yeah. All what right. you got to say, Vim? I say that everything has been great. I love this show. I love all the cats that came in from Cali. Much, much respect to all the Cali boys. Yeah, much respect for Cali here, too. It's a I'm stand with 53 and I'm old with fried chicken. Glad to see you. Him and Moses.
Brothers are in the same yearbook. That's part. Right. <laughs> I wanted the water and I had a cup. Right? Yeah, I'm looking for Moses, too. Man. Man. 1970 you started writing? Yep, I've been doing it for 28 years, man. I've been here from like... You know, an old motherfucker, goddamn. Damn, man. I'm almost <laughs> five chicken, man. Yeah, I've been Ain't here just three days older than water? <laughs> three days older than water. <laughs> What's that all about? Gizmo. Yeah, Gizmo? Was, yeah. uh, uh, pretty much it was uh, Rich, Stan, myself, uh, a couple other cats, but it was pretty much at the time that it happened, yeah. the only band that had graffiti artists in it and you know has the majority. And we had break dances, we were doing our thing, you know. Sorry, we had we had all our stuff happening. Um, I have to say it was the first graffiti member band. You know? And uh, we got a little history with that too. Getting the funk. Funk, yeah. And we were also one of the uh, first bands to perform in, in dance material. And read play with us. Yes. yes. So what instrument did you play? Uh, drums and percussion. Drums and percussion. And you? Bass. Stan? Bass. You played bass? I played bass. Did you play the drums? Did you play the drums? Yeah, I played the drums. Percussion. Yeah. We was the Mad Cat crew! Gizmo Band! Gizmo Band, huh? That around your neighborhood. Where, where did you remember seeing some other folks that was up? In my neighborhood, in Brooklyn, you had guys like App Super Hall, uh, you had Wicked Gary, X Vandals, you had Miko, Savage, uh, and Slim, Slim One, the Chinese, we call him the, the Brooklyn Chinese writer. Um, we had Stop 700, A Train, uh, a guy named Dizzy, Scooter, Spin. Spin was one of these, like the unsung hero. Spin. Uh, and yeah, I could just go on and on and on and on. Huh? I'm just like incredible yeah. amount of writers. Super Strut. Yeah. Um, we had Vam, uh, we had Duster, uh, Manny, Milo, Nico, I already mentioned Nico. Nico, you were like one of the first, first of those locals. But Milo, yeah, it was Nico, Milo, and Manny, and Peusa. Yeah, Doug. Those were the salvajes. And I heard, you know, Nico was telling yeah. the story that. What's up, man? What's up, Spy? How you feeling, man? Just chilling right here, you know? All right, energy from California and New York put together. And it's a good feeling being out here, you know, meeting everybody and just hanging out and learning, you know? Word, word. Real fun. So you painting, huh? Yeah, it's just a little painting. Don't be about it, man. It's just a little peace of mind right here, you know? It's, uh, Different chapter, I guess you could say. Yeah. That's some wicked shit, man. Thanks, thanks. Just kind of broke it down by doing a tag and then outlining that tag with a roller. And then from there, I just added the color and started tweaking it out with the mean streak. So it all came together. That's original, man. Get influence, you know, from other people, from the crew, and, you know, there's been so much good art, you know, around me, and it's like, you know, it all had impact, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I appreciate that, you know, and that's the way I show it back, you know, it's like giving, you know, good art back. And so people that, you know, were here before me know, okay, you know, you know, I inspired somebody or something like that, you know, it's like yeah. taking the good thing from somebody and applying it to your life, you know? It's not always the negative things, you know? Right. Huh. Who's that up there, man? That's no sit down. <laughs> well, you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man, you know? So you saying like you start with the S? Yeah, I had the S like kind of all coming down like the point, like some old LA gangster shit, you know? Yeah. It's just crazy, man. I still can't figure out how I made it here, you know? Yeah. And uh, it just feels good to be around other people that sort of understand same concepts we're going through, I guess, I don't know. That's real, right? 
But yeah, it's, it's a good thing to come out here and kind of meet old riders to, you know, to really set it, put it down for us. And um, it's, it's a good feeling, man, I guess, you know, just to be out here, man. Yeah. And you got Bama right under you. Yeah, yeah. Try to bring it together, you know, with that purple. You know, I die when I get cremated because I don't want to be buried. Right, right. I don't want the maggots to get to me. Right, right. I want to be cremated. There's a few things that I want to be cremated along with. One of them would be a, an empty can of spray paint. Yeah. Like done your work. Like you've done your work. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe I should take a few. <laughs> <laughs> full, full cans of spray paint with me. Right, right. So wherever I'm gonna go and continue hitting wherever I go. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't stop. In fact, I would do that. I just thought of that. When I get cremated, I'm gonna select my favorite colors. Right. I love yellow. Right. Yellow is a difficult work, uh, color to work with. Right. But it's nice. So when I get cremated. Definitely a red, a green, a couple of whites, and a uni-wide marker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. get better I said oh man I'm gonna bring out the computer rock and then that's when I really got loose cuz then niggas are saying yo who's that guy then one day these news reported people was on the train station they we was going by and we seen them we seen them filming our whole car we went up to him and I remember I said yo who you think probably done that right there you know just to be curious to see what they say and he said i don't know but whoever done it that's some remarkable talent you know i ain't never seen nothing like this before anyway you know the king of what king of style shoot i got styles already that's more complex that nobody know about i mean super duty tough work <laughs> See, this is just semi like what I would call it, but if I really get into it and start camouflaging it, I don't think you'd even be able to read it. Look at it, man. It's snowing out here. Look at that, man. I remember this spot, right? Dizzy Dez in the cage to cage, D5, we gonna rock the place. And if you're based in the place, you will get disgraced because we are the crew. <laughs> you remember that shit, huh? You know, yeah. <laughs> this is the spot, man. This is the spot right here. It feels great to be right here, you know? It feels wonderful to be right here. Touching down with history once again. 125th Street, Harlem. 
Pedro, para que? Ah, que é isso? Para que? Right in his heart, game of chance, let's go brand new star, can't cut through the park. Cause it's crazy after dark, keep my hand on my gun. Good. Represent for the Bronx, one of the New York Kings. Up top, once again, Mayor of the Bronx, you got Kobe. See both sides of this wall. You can't get enough of that man. He's just all over this motherfucker, man. Over here, you got the legendary scene, busting the cycle piece. You know, this shit is hot. You got Lumet from Germany. Uh, over here, you got a uh, Sess One writing Wish. Check, check the eye right there. Check the eye. That's a dope shit right there. That eye is ridiculous, man. You know. Wicked as fuck. Down here you got Flight, one of the innovators of the long bar style right here. Long lines. Right here. One of the biggest influences on the FC crew. Flight. Ozone. These motherfuckers give us inspiration, man. You know? Straight inspiration. Cause I know when I get back I'm ripping shit, man. <laughs> Mark my words, I'm tearing shit up. Man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to, man. Shit, I blew up their bathroom, flooded their toilet, man. You know, I'm trying to clean it up, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Go, go get them. <laughs> this, this is my womb. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. See, I can't flow right now.
Check out what I just got in the mail. The brand new issue of Big Time Magazine. The East Side issue. Straight from my boy Temp One. What's up, Temp? Down in the South. We got the nice magazine layout going on here. Graph stylies. People's writings. All kinds of colorful. What? Oh, snap. Look at that. A fresh full page spread on our show in New York. Look at that, man. Check out Chaz right there. That's the oldest cat in the show. There goes Dreaming Mind's work right there. Tempto right here with Chaz. Flint 707, Cakes 2, The Crew, check out some of the fellas, there goes my boy Braille, Griff 1, Miko, the first guy to put political messages on the side of a train, look at the AWR crew, man, Snake 1, original, Rider's Corner 1, 88. Man, that's giving the show some justice. Not like some of these other magazines out here. They don't know what's happening. So, yo, man, this magazine is fat. This big time magazine. Big ups to Temp One. Yeah. You that Cope Rock. 99, boy. Urrrr. Peace out. Dream, do you always paint the symphony music? It's classic. I can't, I great.